Hello everybody, this is a quick video just to show you how you add a sound clip um, to your website. So first of all you need to log into um, your uh, SoundCloud account. Um, then you need to choose which files you want to upload. So for example I've just got a, someone else's mp3 here. Um, I'm uploading that to the system at the moment. You can see the status bar. Um, and then you've got the option here of renaming the name of the track. Um, you can put description in. You can select the type of music. Um, you can give it a genre. Um, and then um, you can give it tags, so words it might want to be found for. So maybe guitar, maybe things like that. Um, so we'll just let the track upload for a second. Um, and then it will... Uh, the, the the status bar will be full, so bear me a sec. There we go, so that's all complete. Um, if you scroll down to the bottom, um, you will be able to save that. Um, and then this is your sound clip. Um, so if you go to share, which is on the left hand side here, you'll see embed code. Um, just highlight that and copy. You can copy, right click and copy, um, or you can uh, do control C on your keypad. Um, then go to your website, obviously you need to go to the page you want to add the sound clip to, I've picked this page. Um, you can then uh, see here you've got two tabs, visual and HTML. If we switch to the HTML tab and put the cursor at the last um, full stop or wherever we are, um, and now paste either right click and paste or command V. Um, you'll see that it pastes a, a code into the site. If we go back to the visual tab now, um, you should see that we've got the uh, name of the track and, and the embed in there. So if we click update, um, that is the track now added to that page. Um, and hopefully if we go to the front of the site um, and go to the page that we've just done, um, then you should see and the player appear in here. Just bear with me a sec. So that's now the sound clip in your website. Um, I think the reason it was a bit slow to load there is because uh, it was uh, my, my internet. Um, but you click play um, and that will now play the track on your website. Um, obviously at the bottom here you can see where it's titled um, and who it's by so you, know, you might want to rename those things appropriately for each track. Um, I'll obviously remove this uh, from your website because it's not a very classical song. Um, at least it gives you an idea of how you add it to the site.